So what do a feral cat, a mockingbird, and a creepy underwater crustacean have in common? Well, I encountered all of them as I walked from my front door to the metro in order to go to school. That's what we'll be looking at in this week's Wildlife Vlog. That feral cat was the first creature I caught sight of on my walk. Whether it was born wild or simply escaped from a house, it soon lost interest in me and I decided to continue my walk. The next interesting place I encountered was actually a water-filled ditch behind these townhouses. While some people might not see anything but a scum-filled ravine, I see an underwater ocean filled with crystal-fleshed crustaceans like this copepod. On her back, she's carrying a couple sacks of eggs, the next generation. I also spotted plenty of clam-shaped ostracods, tiny shrimp-like creatures. You know I could spend all day here, but we have to keep going. Oh, wait. Before we go, let's take one more microscopic look, this time at the world of moss filled with these tiny, microscopic nematodes. All right, that's about it. Let's keep going and, okay, let's stop again. This time, do you see the creature staring back at you? Here's that mockingbird we saw earlier. All right, let's start walking again. As things started getting more metropolitan, I found less and less of interest to see. But there was another water ditch. I thought I might as well take another look, but I was sorely disappointed. Perhaps because this ditch is often full of all sorts of pollutants, there wasn't much to see. Fortunately, that wasn't the end of my walk. I encountered one more interesting creature staring at me from behind a fence. These deer seem to graze right by the metro. It's amazing to see them so close to our transportation system. Uh, that was about all I saw on my walk. And as I got close to the metro, I decided to turn off my camera since I'm guessing the police probably don't want me filming near a transportation center. They probably don't appreciate that I'm looking for wildlife, but you know who appreciates my videos, you guys. And you should check out my YouTube or Instagram if you want to see more of my wildlife work. You can also check out my website, which I've linked to below. And don't forget to click that like button so I know I'm not just releasing this into the void of the internet. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week.